so uh, I don't know how much you can see <coughs> there we go that's better so this morning got some more firewood some decent big bits of firewood at the back there I've got the stove with a four litre pot with the snow in it ready to be melted. There's a bit of water in the bottom so you don't melt the bottom of the pot. Fire is ready to go to be lit. Like so. Got some Reindeer meat. So I'm going to have some reindeer meat and have it in a toasted sandwich, which is going to be awesome. There's my belt kit, my sit mat, which I'm going to sit on now, my cordage, which I borrowed from work. Since yesterday, I've dug this bit out. This bit just, just here, where all this wood is. That was all snow yesterday. Had a major drama with the uh, with the stove last night. The flue kept blocking up because it's all pine. It's really, really resinous. So the flue kept get kept getting blocked. Sorry, the spark arrester. That's it. But it's totally, I don't know if you can see the little bits of ash on it. That was just totally clogged. Literally cleaned it out and about literally three minutes later, two minutes later, it was just clogged completely again. So I had to take it out. So I hope no sparks land on the uh, tent and put holes in it. But um, I don't know how well you can see that, but all that glistening. There's frost on the inside of the tent. I've got my uh, my candle lantern there. My bed, or sorry, my sleeping bag is inside out there, waiting for the fire to be lit to warm it through. I've got my outer smock. This just keeps all the snow and stuff off my down. There's my down jacket, which. <sighs> I rather stupidly touched against the fire last night, so that's now ruined. But that's where I'm sleeping. Uh, my pillow, which is my bag full of electrical bits and my waterproofs. A spare pair of gloves. Some bags for stuff sacks for stuff. My German bag on the bottom there. This one's water, I'm quite surprised with this. This is my uh, clean canteen. Oh, I'm not gonna get it out because I need both hands. Um, that's uh, that's done really well. You see it's foam matting. It's literally just a 3.99 foam mat from Tesco's. And that water is still water which is quite surprising. Now, I'm going to try and do this so you can watch, but it's difficult with one hand. And this is all just pine, some wet, some dry, some good, some bad. That stuff over the back there is going to burn really good. See these bits here, that's the knots, or the branches of the knots on the tree. 
which are absolutely full of resin. You can smell it when you cut it. It's, uh, it's pretty good to be fair. Stove heating up already. Oh. <coughs> Steam coming off from that water off the pot, or well, snow off the pot. That there is going to be my sock and boot liner drying rack because my feet are absolutely frozen because they've got moisture in from where I've sweated and because we were in a rush last night to get everything sorted and that it was a bit of a mare to get everything done so today I got a load more wood as you can see Loads of wood, big bits at the back, a drying rack, going to dry my liners out, going to get the tent nice and hot, and then I'm going to have some, some reindeer meat, which Al very kindly got for me. Stove was just a pig last night, absolute mare. Just hopefully get going. <clears throat> right, I'm going to turn this off and I'll do another one in a bit. <laughs> 